Mr. Chili's Christmas by Janet McNulty For anyone who has ever tried staying awake all night for Santa Claus. On a frigid Christmas Eve, four friends huddled together before a warm fireplace. They curled under blankets, sipping hot chocolate, as they waited for Santa Claus to arrive. When do you think he will get here? asked Mr. Bird. I don't know, answered Mr. Bear, but I'm going to stay up all night so that I can meet him. But you know Santa never comes when you are awake, chirped Mr. Bird. But how am I to greet him if I am sleeping? asked Mr. Bear. I wonder what he will arrive on, said Mr. Bird. His sleigh, said Mr. Bear. That is so old-fashioned, commented Mr. Rabbit. I think he will show up on a motorbike with his gang of reindeer, and it will be rocket-propelled so he can fly all over the world, and presents will rain from the sky. Well, I think he will arrive on a magic train on a railroad that weaves through the sky, said Mr. Bear. That isn't how he gets around, said Mr. Bird. I think he flies around the world on a Christmas bird, and when he lands, people gather all around, and he gives them gifts. What do you think, Mr. Chili? asked Mr. Bear. Mr. Chili patted Spooks on the head before answering. Well, I think Santa wears these magic shoes and dances the samba all over the world with his reindeer. While they dance, they throw ornaments, and each ornament transforms into a present. That's a stupid idea, said Mr. Rabbit. No more dumb than Santa riding on a rocket-propelled motorbike, Mr. Chili muttered. A loud thump sounded outside. Thump! He's here! They all jumped up and ran out the front door to greet Santa, but nothing was there except snow. Carefully, they each searched the grounds, but found no sign of Santa Claus. Another thump caught their attention. They all ran to it. It was just a clump of snow that had fallen from the roof. Disappointed, the four friends went back inside. They passed the time telling stories about their Christmas wishes. As the fire dimmed, they fell asleep. Late in the night, the sound of bells drifted in. A soft thud echoed from the rooftop as a sleigh landed upon it. Snoring loudly, none of them woke as Santa popped out of the fireplace. He noted the sleeping bunch as he crept to the Christmas tree. Spooks woke up. Santa put a finger over his lips, telling the cat to be quiet. With care, he set the presents around the tree. Santa spotted the plate of cookies and glass of milk and helped himself. After eating the last crumb, he tucked the blanket around the four friends, petted Spooks, and went back up the chimney. Sleigh bells jingled as Santa flew away, wishing them a Merry Christmas. The next morning, Mr. Chili rubbed his eyes as he woke up. He noticed all of the presents under the tree. He came! He came! Groggily, the others sat up. Presents! Mr. Rabbit hopped over to the Christmas tree. And he ate the cookies! But we missed him, said Mr. Bear. It's okay, said Mr. Chili. There is always next year, and we'll make certain to stay awake the entire night. Mr. Bear agreed as they all ripped open their gifts. The end.